Hi, I'm Dennis Washington from Cross Digital and CrossDig.com with your weekly pep talk, Quality and Quantity. Been doing some case study research on brand journalism and a little bit of content marketing mixed in there as well and, and ran across some interesting debates about quality and quantity. Uh, some of the people, especially in the content marketing world, firmly believe in the power of quantity, the number. Uh, they believe at this point you've got to swarm the, the Internet with as much quantity of content as you can. It may not meet your highest quality standards, but if it's good enough, it'll get engagement, uh, brand awareness, and uh, the, the rest will take care of itself. Then there's other people that say, hey, look, the quality's got to trump the, trump the quantity. If it doesn't meet your business standards, um, it, you've got an issue. And, and I'm more in that line. I, I'm more the quality type person. Having said that, um, if your quality standards are so high that you can only post once a year, then there's an issue there. You, you're not pushing yourself enough to, to try to engage your customers on a more frequent basis. Uh, I do believe that there needs to be at least a minimum set of, of quantity uh, depending on your business, everybody's business is different. Some business industries are going to require a higher quantity standard than others. Uh, and, and we all have limitations in our businesses and our staffing and that kind of thing. But if your quantity, if your customers demand content from you on a frequent basis, on a weekly basis, on even a daily basis on some of these larger businesses, then you need to put the people in place to be able to make that happen. Don't try to do it all yourself. Kind of a separate conversation there. But Ultimately, in the end, your customers, and, and you're going to know this, uh, the, the, the better you know your target audience, the better you're going to know their needs. Um, and if their needs require daily interaction, then you need to put the staffing in place to make that happen. But don't sacrifice the quality. Don't just say, okay, I'm going to have to do it all myself, so I'm just going to throw something out there every day just to, to try to engage them. You're going to burn yourself out. The quality of the work is going to suffer. You need to get more people in place to be able to meet the standards that you think, the quantity standards you think. Don't let quality suffer just to reach your quantity needs. Um, it's kind of like with Facebook. I mean, you think about with Facebook and the people, there are people we've got on our timeline that just post all the time. They post stuff and nobody ever likes it, comments, shares. Well, Facebook with their algorithm makes kind of hides those posts from you uh, by default. Uh, Facebook looks at, and, and people that post all the time that never get comments or likes or shares, uh, their posts get suppressed on purpose by Facebook. It's an algorithm. Uh, it's Their computers are doing that on purpose. Whereas on the flip side, posts that are getting a lot of quality, those things are getting posted uh, and, and everybody's seeing them in their news feeds. So it's real important that you work on quality and quantity. But if I have to pick one, I'm going with quality every time, uh, especially if my business is built around quality. Um, it, it's like in the blog post we talk about, talked about earlier. Um, if you read my blog post from a few days ago about businesses, um, if, if your restaurant serves bad food, you're going to be out of business pretty quick. Now, yeah, we got to be able to handle the quantity of people coming in, too, but every customer has got to get quality food. Okay, you're feeding your audience with content. If they're not getting quality food, if they're not getting quality content from you, they're not going to keep coming back. So the quality has got to be there. Um, it's why I don't send you a daily email. It's why we don't do this pep talk on a daily basis. I can't give you quality on a daily basis by myself. Now, maybe someday as a team I can grow my business and do that. But for right now, once a week, I feel like I can give you some great quality content once a week in an email. Uh, and then there's podcasts and other things I'm doing on the side as well that you can engage with on different days of the week as well. Uh, but this weekly pep talk, once a week, I can give you that, that quality uh, experience and expertise that I get throughout the week and that I've gained over the last 20 years as a broadcast journalist. Um, so it is all about that quality. There's got to be some quantity as well, but don't let your work suffer just to meet a quantity deadline. It's so important. Uh, this pep talk going out on July 2nd, two days away from Independence Day here in the United States. Um, certainly, I hope you enjoy your holiday weekend. Have a great time with that. Uh, I'll be taking some time with my family as well. In fact, you will get a pep talk from me next week. Uh, but it will be pre-recorded because next week I'll be off with my kids uh, for our annual trip to church camp. Uh, so uh, looking forward to that. Some quality time for my brain to be able to relax 
uh, to help you out there as well. Uh, but I want to make sure you're still getting fed once a week, so I'm going to uh, get you something for next week that I think you'll be really in, in, interested in, including there will be a podcast posting next week on Tuesday with an interview I recently did with Dale Jenkins about writing um, and social media that I think will be very, very beneficial to you. So I hope you check that out. That will be on Tuesday, the week before, uh, on July 9th, the week before the next, or day before the next pep talk comes out. So enjoy that. Uh, looking forward to sharing that with you in the coming days. Uh, and, and focus on the quality as well as the, the quantity is important too, but focus on the quality. It will do wonders for your business down the road. I'm Dennis Washington with this week's weekly pep talk from Cross Digital and CrossDig.com.